kindness, whether it's a personal issue, whether it's someone in your family. I know for me personally, um, my sister has um, battled mental illness for 20 years and that, that effect that it has on um, the nuclear family around is, is quite significant. And I know my story is, is one in a million. So I would imagine that insidious disease affects so many people in our population. And the more we can acknowledge it as a disease, make sure we can talk about it, find treatments for it, and make sure that the people that are affected by mental illness feel as though they have someone to talk to in this community and acknowledge that even if it is this quiet place of reflection, uh, an amazing sculpture that's going to take place over the next six, six weeks by Roger, um, a place where they can come in Newcastle if they need a place of quiet reflection. And I know it's not just for the, the sufferers, it's for the families and the carers to also uh, pay tribute to the time they take out of their own lives to, to help those people with mental illness. So it is my pleasure to be here today at the first um, splitting ceremony of fantastic Greek marble that we see sitting here with a fantastic flag, the Greek flag flying behind that amazing piece of marble. I have honestly never seen a piece of marble so big. So we've got a, a very large base and also um, another piece of marble that um, Roger is going to carve over the next six weeks. I've had the pleasure of meeting Roger McFarlane before and seeing some of his amazing sculptures here uh, at the Cooks Hill Galleries in Newcastle. When you look at uh, Roger's from Newcastle, trained in Italy, and you look at the talent um, we have in our own backyard, not just of Roger, but in our arts community, it is fantastic to have um, Roger as a, as a homegrown artist back in Newcastle carving such an amazing, important sculpture. So I can't wait for the next six weeks. Look, I feel for you. I hope a lot of people come down and watch. I will come past. I might sit in the car and watch you, particularly next week when I hear it. I don't know. The word on the street this morning was apparently someone spoke to Gary Youngbury and he said it's the, the coldest week in 200 years next week. So, I know, lucky you. But it's for a fantastic cause. Uh, thank you again and it is again my pleasure to be here. Thank you, Joey.